Good morning, YouTube. It's Maddie Gab, 2012, and um, I was just coming back on Monday today um, because I promised you all that I would come back with an official weigh-in. I had um, began my journey on October 13th, 2013, so I'm about a year and a half out or I'm sorry, two and a half years out, almost three years. It'll be three years this October. And um, I hadn't made videos in a while, so I, I think it was last Thursday or last Friday, I made a video saying that I was back um, because I wanted to do some things with maintenance. Um, I've been in maintenance about two years. So on my third anniversary, it'll be t two years of maintenance. Um, let me go back to the original numbers. Um, my highest recorded weight in June of 2013 was 252 pounds and um, date of surgery. Oh, I lost about five or so pounds. Um, on just uh, pre-op diet, or not pre-op diet, but just during the summer. So when I started my pre-op diet on September 30th, I was 246 pounds. And then when I went for surgery, date of surgery, October 13th, 200, or 2000, uh, 13, I was 236 pounds because I lost about 10 pounds on the pre-op diet. And if I'm looking away and hesitating, it's because I'm trying to remember all of these numbers. <laughs> um, so then um, 236 pounds. So it took me about a year to lose over 100 pounds, and uh, my lowest, lowest, lowest recorded weight was like 117 and something. And then um, my kind of good like weight and settle is in the 120s. And um, so shockingly, surprisingly, and I'm wondering if my scale actually works. I did step on the scale this morning and uh, after not stepping on since January and I was, it, this scale said I was 126.6, which I'm, I don't know if that's true or not, but I'll take it. Hey, <laughs> lie to yourself. Denial is a great state. Anyway, um, but I was, um, my purpose and my focus this summer, since I'm not working um, this summer, then is to kind of rejuvenate and uh, really focus on strength training. I do a lot of cardio um, exercise, and um, I wanted to focus more on strength training this summer as well as a cardio, but just incorporating the strength training along with the cardio. And I'm rambling and I'm jumping back and forth and I should have written notes like most sane people do to stay on track. But I said that um, to bring in what I, I was doing, um, I had had a horrible like six, five or six months of eating and I was really surprised when I stepped on the scale that it was as low as it was because I could see the changes in my body um, and I could feel the changes in my body uh, from uh, knowing that it was weight gain. Um, I had been doing a lot of stress eating and emotional eating uh, this spring and you know, so I just thought I was probably up to 140 by by now, but fortunately, I'm at 126. Um, it's very difficult for me, seeing that I've been overweight all my life, in order to 
kind of gauge where I am. So having a scale really helps put things in perspective. And using the scale helps things put, put things in perspective. Um, avoiding the scale does not. But using it really does help put things in perspective. Um, I'm sure, totally rambling, but that's okay, because I've got important stuff to say now. Because I look back over my, um, I have this app called, uh, hold on, let me find it, called um, Track My Weight. Yeah, Track My Weight. I was trying to show you guys and the name of it, but it's called Track My Weight. It's a free app. And I had been using this since really, um, since my surgery. That's how I keep track of all my numbers because I used to come in weekly. Man, and it's six minutes already. I gotta hurry. Um, but anyway, I would I went to put in that weight today because I didn't have a heart attack when I saw it. So I went to put it in the tracker, and um, I was looking over my weights since. May of 2015, and I've really been in the same range, so I'm going to try to show you this. I don't know if you can see it, and it's probably backwards, sorry, but I've been really in the same range from the 127 and then 126 in August in January, so see how I've been scale avoiding <laughs> May, August, January, June. Um, 126.4 in August, and then in January, 120, and this was because um, we were on a Daniel fast, so it was primarily eating lots of vegetables, lots of nuts, things like that, uh, mainly a vegan type of diet, if you want to call it that. And then with that, since I'm a meat eater, meat lover, then of course I wasn't eating quite as much. And then here, here's today, 126.6. And I, I am going to start weighing weekly. Um, I'm not a daily weigher, never was, because it's too emotional for me. So I'm going to uh, go back to weighing weekly. Anyway, so there's that. I don't know. Hopefully it won't be backwards, but I do have a picture I'm going to try to insert because I'm not that tech savvy to insert, but I'm going to try to insert that in here as well as, um, you know, one of the things with exercise since May, since uh, January, this was my New Year's resolution this month or this year was to work out at least five days a week, every single week. Or really 20, 20 days a month is what I wanted. That was my goal. And I haven't made that goal one single month, I don't think. <laughs> but that's okay. Um, so I'm trying to focus on that. Again, since I'm not working, I'm able to still get up at my early schedule that I used to get up with at school. And then the nice part about it is I can come home and um, take a nap if I want to <laughs> and then get about my day um, so that's what I did this morning and hold on just a second let me go get something okay I'm back and sorry about that I went to get this because uh, another goal that I have this summer with my workouts is not only incorporating the strength training but also um, the 1,000 calorie burn workouts. And I do wear, I have the um, Polar FT, uh, FT4. I've had the more advanced Polars. Um, but anyway, that's a whole, I digress, that's a whole different story. Anyway, so I have this one and it has a chest uh, heart rate monitor the chest strap heart rate monitor, so I think it's pretty accurate. And today I worked out almost three hours, if you can see that, and burned 1,200 
85 calories. So I'm pretty proud of myself for that. Um, and sometimes, just by working out two hours, I can do uh, a, th a thousand. It was, um, I don't know, I guess I had a lot of energy this morning, but I'll sh tell you about the energy that I have. Um, one of the things, new things that I've tried recently, uh, new products that I've tried recently, is this amino energy and what I really like about it is that it's, the stats are pretty good, it's only 10 calories, but what I like about it is that uh, the caffeine comes from green tea, green tea extract, and green coffee extract. So it's more of a natural caffeine, plus it has some amino blends, uh, amino, uh, amino acids for muscle repair and all that stuff. So I use this as a um, as a pre-workout drink, and I've been using that in the mornings. I've only uh, been using it about a week. I don't know. I think I'm having some kind of reaction because when I do drink it, um, maybe it's from the caffeine or something. I can feel it like right in here. I get like a sensation right in here. I, don't, I hope I'm not allergic to it. But uh, I get a sensation right in here, but then as I work out, the sensation goes away. So, I don't know, maybe that's a... But anyway, here uh, they also say that you can use it as a post-workout recovery drink as well. But I like using it before the workout to uh, give a little bit more energy. And the reason I decided to do that was because um, my runs had been really, really off, really off, uh, even since the beginning of the year, and I was trying to get back on track with my pace and my times, uh, because that's what I do a lot is just the running for the cardio, and I uh, hadn't been doing as many races because my times have been off. Okay, very quickly, before this ends up being forever in a minute, talking about, I don't know, um, Anyway, uh, a couple of new products that I found that I've been using quite a bit. And I may have been talking to you guys about this before, the protein cereal, K, uh, K's Naturals. And I learned about this uh, right at the beginning of my journey. I don't think she comes on anymore, but her name was Susan. Um, and she told us about this. But I found them in my, I'm here in Texas, near Houston, Texas. And um, I found these in my local HEB in the individual serving size. And I'm all about the individual serving size because I don't have portion control ability. You know, I'm not into portion control and I don't have that. So um, I like to do the things that are already portioned out. And this actually, the apple cinnamon to me is better than the honey almond. Um, Anyway, it has, very quickly, it has 120 calories for the whole package, and it has 12 grams of protein and 4 grams of fiber, 3 sugars. What I like about it is that I add it to my yogurt, or I can eat it just dry as a crunch, because I, ever since the surgery, I've left sweet, even though I do like sweets, but left sweet the pastry sweet taste that I used to crave and it's more the crunch now so I like this as a crunch but anyway these are just a dollar or you can buy the box for I think five dollars but again these are good to just pick up and go and I do that a lot one thing that I've found recently 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 within the last month or so is that our grocery Kroger our grocery store Kroger and I think um, some places call it Ralph's or whatever. Um, they have the Simply True, Simple Truth brand, and they've come out with these protein bars. And um, they're, the stats are decent. They're not Quest Bar stats, but for this bar, which is a decent size, I think it's a little bit smaller than the Quest Bar, but not much. Um, this one, this is the... Uh, peanut butter extreme 
and this has 210 calories and 14 carbs but 21 grams of protein so you know it's that good protein ratio 10 to 1 ratio for protein the carbs are kind of high even in the one I had last night which was mint chocolate um, it was fewer calories but the carbs were high but uh, and the fiber is very low the sugar and it has seven sugars so the sugars are decent fiber is extremely low even on the one I had last night and then of course it has the vitamins and things but anyway but this is good uh, uh, the one of the reasons I really like these is the price is um, I found them at my Kroger's for 79 cents and if you don't have a lot of money like uh, when I can't buy a box of Quest bars because they're too expensive or whatever or because they're two dollars and fifty cents at, for a single bar versus 79 cents for a bar then you know I'll get these as a backup to have anyway so there okay I guess that's it how did that take 16 minutes I don't know okay but the summer remember to hydrate hydrate hi Ooh, I don't want to give them a, a plug hydrate and I just this is just bottled water in their cup which I kept which I keep